Well, well, well. Welcome back to JH Diesel and gas and 4x4. So we're gonna get our uh, blown big block here pulled out of old Ron Burgundy. We'll see what happened. We already know kind of what happened to it. Um, it's uh, obviously, uh, we've got uh, some bearings that are spun out of the rod bearings. So we're gonna get it out, we'll pull it down, take a look at them ourselves, see what they look like. And then at that point, we'll be able to do some measurements, see what kind of piston and uh, size piston we're gonna have to get for it, whatever overhaul kit it ends up being. So right now we gotta get it from here all the way around to the other side of the shop. A little bit of a job, but we'll get it. We'll grab the side-by-side, -side, pull it over, our nice Can-Am Defender, and uh, hopefully get this thing tore down today and uh, see what's underneath that hood and see exactly what the hell happened. She is not happy right now. So, again, guys, thank you so much for heading over to BaldEagle.com. Grab me some JHD Diesel merchandise. we got some fresh stuff on the website. Check it out live, BaldEagle.com. Thank you again. Hope you guys enjoy the episode today. off get this Lexan off so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with that and at this point it's pretty much old hat you've seen this thing come apart and go back together a number of times so I'm gonna go ahead and get it apart and uh, we'll go from there so she's out came out really no problems at all I strapped the converter the trans up and it did fall a little bit but that was the reason for putting a strap in it so now we got the I got the motor out so now I'm gonna get it on a stand and we'll get the heads off and get the intake off it start pulling it apart seeing what we got dude my guy's been hustling so we got the motor out this morning I was not here. I had to go on some errands, got back. He already had the engine sitting out on the stand. About to pull this thing out. I mean, you think we're gonna see anything in there? No, cover. I don't this think, should I don't be pretty clean. Valley, yeah. valley, I know we got to flip her on over and take a look at that. Uh, take a look at the uh, bearings and actually- Yeah, I gotta, maybe... get all the, I gotta get the motor plate off the front, get the water pump and everything off. I was getting ready to start on that. And then I took lunch instead. I, 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 nothing wrong with that. Ooh, that nice little blower intake. Better, way better than the last one we had. <laughs> oh, I got the kind of wall silicone good this time. Yeah, we ain't having a leak there this time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the cam and everything still looks good. Yeah, no, I, I, it's... We were kind of wondering because the flat tap it cam, but everything actually still looks uh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, there might be a couple little things there. I'm not sure on that, but that might be from metal going in there, you know? There is a ton of metal, dude. It's everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. I bet you that's all from metal going in there. 
Well, I think we're gonna go to a roller cam anyways. Get rid of this flat tappet style and go to a roller cam. Something a little bit more reliable, a little more modern. Oh well, now, give the rest of the way tour down. We'll pull the oil pan off and take a look at our damage. All right, so we're gonna get the heads pulled off this thing. See what it looks like. I don't think we're gonna find much damage under the valve covers. Obviously, we've already had them off. I didn't see anything. But I'm also gonna pull the heads off and we'll see if there's anything on top of the pistons that's messed up. And then once we get that done, we'll turn the motor over. We'll pull the pan back off it, pull the cam out of it and uh, see what we got in the rod bearings. got both heads off this rig now and looking at it this side looks okay the driver's side then you come over here to the passenger side you can see this cylinder where a piston made a little bit of contact with a valve so we'll, well keep going valve, just, just the actual head. head this one actually oh. looks like it too a little yeah, bit yeah that one might it might have got a little, a little shiny yeah. so so we got a couple pistons there you know got a little bit of minor damage on them but Again, really, all in all, doesn't look bad at all, which is good. That means we should be able to rebuild this thing no problem. And then uh, we yeah. are going to put a fresh crank, rods, pistons, the whole deal in it. We'll get to all that whenever we get all those parts. But we're gonna right now, what we're going to do is double check what we have to do on it, and then we'll figure out as far as combustion chamber stuff, and then we'll get our cylinder head, or I'm sorry, our overhaul kit ordered. So we're going to tear it down a little bit more. We're going to get in the oil pan where we have the damage that we believe. Take a look at the bearings, see how bad they are. You guys can check it out. And uh, it's kind of where we're at with it. Got her down to the nitty gritty, pulling the old rod caps off. We'll take Pull a look it. at our damage. All the metal in the pickup. Oh, I see now we have the oil pan off, full of metal. I said, well, that's not good. That's never a good sign. This one, the bearing wasn't pushed out that we could see. It like is. the one in the back. Oh, is it pushed out oh, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice it, but I do now. Yeah. Look at that. She is not happy. She is not happy. <laughs> Motor's already been rebuilt. Really? Stamped? Oh, yeah, it is. The caps are stamped. We didn't know. We thought it was the bone stock 454. From what we were told. Maybe y'all could chime in. I don't know. Do they stamp them from the factory? No. They do not? No, I've never seen them. Yeah. You should not beat on your rod bolts, but... We are not reusing the rods, reusing so... Not a big deal. These rods are going to go and probably be thrown right in the garbage. So... Always use screwdrivers for pry bars. Push. They have a lifetime Push. warranty on them through snap-on tools. Do they? Make sure to always use them as pry bars. Screwdrivers? Screwdrivers, hand tools. tools. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Don't listen to your snap-on rep. Use them as hammers, pry bars, whatever you want to use them as. I like, I like using them as chisels. Come on, baby. Come on now, get out of there. Probably not happy where it's at right now. No, it's got a bearing stitched out inside of it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mm 
Nice. This ain't wanting to come up, man. He's old meat. There she goes. What bearing? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> what bearing, bud? There's some you bearing. All oh, the bearing spun, so it's yeah, spun the bearing. Yeah. yeah. I would say you weren't. Uh... Oh, it's probably stuck up under the edge of that one. Mm, maybe. The other bearing is sitting underneath it. So there's the other side of it. Oh, yeah. But she's trashed, bud. Probably why we couldn't get it started again either. Luckily, it started for us to get back on the trailer. All right, guys. So we found our culprit, one of the culprits. We definitely have another bearing back here that's bad, as you guys just saw. That's our issue. That's where all our metal's coming from. It doesn't look absolutely miserable, but the crank has definitely got some um, grooves in it. So... Either way, crank was gonna have to come out. Rods held up. Four bolt main block though, which I don't know. You know, that pretty common on a 454. I don't know. We don't seem to think so, but um, I mean, my, I had one 454 before in my life. It was a two bolt. Yeah. So I don't know. Either way though, we'll get this thing all freshened up. Next step is the machine shop. We'll get this thing done and have us probably a little nice uh, 468 to go with it in the machine shop and get that thing set up and ready to rip. So Ron Burgundy. It's coming back with better engine, more power, and we're gonna change the pulleys around and make that blower really do its job, get about 10 pounds of boost out of this thing. Well guys, we just came across a very cool piece of information. So we just pulled Ron Burgundy out and uh, we had the block sitting here and Justin went ahead and snagged the numbers off of it. Our front number here, we're trying to read this number, but it's very, very distorted. There's actually a number there. Um, could not we, we we kind of deciphered it maybe but this number here is very interesting so one zero zero six nine two eight six that is the casting number for this block well it turns out this is an over-the-counter gm performance block one zero zero six nine two eight six was a block that came out in 1990 so when we made the comment about four bolt mains being an RV, a motorhome block, stuff like that, turns out I don't think this thing was. It definitely was not an RV block or a motorhome block it or anything like that. Out of an RV at some point? Yeah, at some point somebody rebuilt block. the engine, but this engine, so look up that casting number. From what I'm gathering, I could be wrong, but from what I'm gathering, they're saying this engine's capable of holding like a thousand horsepower, this block. So got different water ports in it. Yeah, different water ports, Siamese cylinders, all this whole system they made. They said they only made this block for like a year or two. Capable of holding a thousand horsepower. It is a four bolt main, uh, 454, 1006 the casting number. The front one, we're trying to figure that one out. We haven't been able to decipher it yet. It might just be too far gone. But either way, very interesting. Thought we had just a bone stock RV block here. And it looks like we might have a little bit more than that. So if you guys want to run the casting number or tell me what you think, just very interesting. Let's see. I mean, we're going to tear it down. We thought we were working with just a bone stock 454, 180 horsepower from back in the day. You know, like we didn't, we had no idea. That's what we were told it had. So pretty interesting. Let's see what you guys find on this. We're going to do our research too, because pretty cool little interesting fact about this thing. So guys, thank you again so much for watching the JCSO channel. You guys are great. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.